Hi again, it's nice to see you still with us for more Explore Tulsa. Now Stevie, you and your wife recently bought a home. Yeah. Are you planning on doing any custom work? Oh, you better believe it. I want a golf driving range, playhouse for the grandkids, maybe a bat cave. But it takes money and a lot of time to accomplish. Mm, I'm sure you'll be inspired when you hear all of the work and time it took Tulsa artist Ron Fleming and his wife to create their dream home. I started out as an artist is about eight years old and I sold my first commercial piece when I was 13 and never looked back. I got to work on a lot of exciting jobs. I did a lot of stuff for uh, Coors and for Budweiser on their race cars and I did one for uh, Jet Airplane, the little bitty jet that went through the barn on the 007 movie. I did a lot of stuff for the cigarette companies like for uh, R.J. Reynolds and I did a lot of stuff for Joe Camel. Just about every illustration that I did was fun because they, I had to go somewhere and shoot reference and come back and draw it. And uh, I did a lot of uh, really technical things that hadn't been built yet, like computers. My, my engineering background really helped me a lot in my, in my technical work. I guess the most fun things I did was, uh, I did a lot of technical things, but a lot of science fiction. Take one for instance, that robot, I did that for Sir Isaac Amanov, which is a, a Russian science fiction writer. I got to take a lot of trips to different countries to uh, explore new avenues and uh, see a lot of uh, exciting things like I went to Africa five times and uh, photographed a lot of the animals. I was doing a tremendous amount of work for Phillips Petroleum at the time. They were doing a lot of work for the arts in Oklahoma. They had this one art director and he wanted us to use this building in a bunch of shots for uh, these young kids. We came down here and they brought a bunch of bicycles and you couldn't even get to this place. I mean, it was overgrown. When we first got married, we'd been looking for a barn or some kind of an old building to make a house out of. We didn't want just an ordinary house. <laughs> At the time, it was just a square brick building with two openings in it and some openings in the floor. It didn't have a roof. And it was just completely overgrown. There was it hadn't been taken care of in, since 1940, so. And I thought, man, this is make a neat place. I think I might have found what I've been looking for. The history of this property, it was originally an, uh, an incinerator for the city of Tulsa. This is not your ordinary home. This is something that it's very unique. It, it doesn't have the same amenities that you would find in your, in your average home that you're going going to look at. But with that being said, it's got all this architectural character and feel to it that it makes you feel like you're in another era. It, I mean, it just feels so good to be in here. It's, it, you feel like you're in a, in a lodge, you feel like you're, you're not even in Tulsa. On the main floor as you enter the home, um, you find the atrium, um, the skylights, and then of course the kitchen is towards the back of the home. And, um, but the main floor is the, is the floor with, with all of the, the, the wow factor is what I, what I call it. But with all of the artwork and um, the loft has the master bedroom or master suite and bathroom. And then down in the basement uh, or the lower level are two more bedrooms and a full bath along with the game room. Well, you know, when, when I decided I wanted to sell it, of course my wife's been passed away now 13 years, 
and I don't think the two of us could have ever wanted to sell it. But uh, I've, I've gotten to an age that I can't take care of it by myself. Lots of good times here, and uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's been a great inspiration for my work. I've finally made that decision that I can let go of it.